What's going on everybody? Welcome back to GMI's World and right now we're going to be talking more about this Blitz promo. This player right here is like a secret W that a lot of people noticed when it was first released uh, with Good Morning Madden when they were talking about it. If you're a 49er theme team, you're going to have the opportunity to kind of get a steal right now. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a snapshot. Uh, Brandon Ayuk, right? Uh, we already have him as one of the players that we utilize on the squad. And, um, you know, now he's going to be getting a major boost. You know, you guys are going to see that 92 speed. That's going to go all the way up, you know, plus four to a 96. That's going to be major. Now, one of the major things that go into this is the fact that he doesn't have a power up, right? So some of you guys are asking, you know, Jimai, he doesn't have a power up. What, what, what's the real deal with this situation? What's going to make him a player that many of us can put on our squad? So look, we're going to go ahead and go over those numbers really quickly and, um, you know, pretty much decipher what's actually going on. So he's going to start off. This is his base card, 92 speed. That's going to go to a 96. That's like the biggest thing that people are worried about is can he get that speed? That's going to make sense. And that 96 is just enough for us to get rid of Scary Terry. Uh, Scary Terry, because he's also, what? A 96 speed and this guy you know pretty much he's not gonna be one of those cards that everybody's gonna go crazy about he's a 90 overall uh, but you know he's gonna be one of those cards where it's like no power up should I go after it like what should I be doing people are gonna be hesitant us 49er theme team players know 96 speed is a really big deal now keep this in mind right here I don't know like you get plus four from play fake you get plus four for medium route run so what EA Sports did was he's gonna be under the threshold right he's not gonna meet that 90 now wh whichever way you guys look at it and how you try to figure out what's going on it's very very difficult to try to more or less understand what's happening because what's going on with the team is this when you look at it let me go ahead and check play fake real quick to kind of show you guys what's going on that threshold is very very huge it's a very very important thing um, when you start to look at the fact that these players get the additional four with the medium route, you know, they get, uh, you know, the quarterback gets thrown on the run, short route running, stuff like that. What does it really do to the players? Well, let's take a look at Vernon Davis. So I'm going to answer that question for you guys because some of you guys are asking, you know, what, what's the difference, bro? Why not go, go deep, you know, make the deep, you know, the deep route better because medium route running is very, very key. We got to see that uh, actually during the game, um, where we watched, what was it, the, uh, the Raiders, uh, Las, Las Vegas Raiders, they played, who was that the other day? Uh, the Chiefs. At the end of the game, Patrick, uh, Patrick Mahomes throws a dot to Kelsey. He just goes up the seam in the middle of the field, and he just he's just wide open. Now, it was like, you know, Abrams being an idiot, but it's still the route running. The medium route running is very, very important. So I want to point this out to you guys. The medium route running on Vernon Davis is 89, and we all know he goes crazy. We don't know why he's going crazy, but he goes crazy. Now, this guy, Brandon Ayuk, he's going to get an 88, right, with the plus four. And then his short route run is going to get another uh, plus four. It starts off at an 87. So he's going to go to 91, and he's going to have an 88 medium route running, and he's going to have a deep route running of 85. Now, even with this guy's deep route running at the tight end position, um, he has an 88. So the 85 is right there at the tier. Um, you know, when you're looking from 85 to 89, typically they do the same things. So I just want to point out that this is a card that I believe is the best tight end right now in Madden 21 Ultimate Team. And we all know he runs every single route to a T. And he's under that threshold. All right, so I just want to go ahead and, you know, because a lot of you guys going to say, yeah, but bro, he doesn't get to the 90. I understand that. But the 96 speed, we're going to have to go ahead and test it out. Now, the next thing that's going to have to go on is we're going to have to take a look at the abilities. Because if we make him a starter for now, we're going to have to make it work. Keep in mind, guys, we still haven't seen Terrell Owens. We still haven't seen Randy Moss. These guys are fill-ins until we get those players. And EA Sports is being very, very smart on how they choose to release it. Because of the way the game plays... Players like T.O. is going to be more sought after than ever before because we all know that he had the route tree, uh, you know, pretty much the route tree down pat, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at, um, we're going to add a few more training to him so that we can take a look at some of the things that he's going to actually be able to unlock, all right? So with this, you know, slot receivers get route technician for two, all right? He has to achieve a 93 overall. That's kind of weird, though. Because, you know, he's a 90 he's a ninety overall card right now. So he won't be able to get that. All right. So a lot of these things that they're showing, maybe when he gets the 90 overall card, it'll change up. And because he gets additional slots, you may be able to unlock it because you're supposed to get three with a 90 plus overall. So maybe he will. I don't know. I'm not sure. 
but with the way that this is, he may be formidable because the slot receivers are getting a lot of good stuff out of this. Now, as far as the apprentices and stuff like that, obviously that's gonna be a little bit more expensive, more involved, but I wanted to show you guys this because if he's able to get this, this is gonna be a game changer for him, all right? Now, remember, at an 81 overall where he is right now, they just show it randomly because of the way it's only one box available. Once he gets all three boxes to kind of, you know, give him abilities, it should change. Do not quote me on it. I'm not 100% sure, but I still believe that he's going to be getting that route technician action going in um, for about 2 AP. All right, so that eliminates a lot of stuff. Um, the need for DK Metcalf and things like that, because DK Metcalf as a physical, it's three for him. So we can actually lessen the amount of AP per player and get the same speed. All right, so that's also a huge factor uh, in that regard. Now, everything else that goes into the card, what we're gonna be looking at, um, you know, is spec catch and stuff like that. Some of you guys were asking, yo, Jemaya, does spec catch really matter this year? I gotta be 100% honest with you. I don't think it does. Uh, many of the players that react, they just react or, you know, whatever. Like they, they're gonna jump when they're gonna jump and they're not gonna jump whenever they don't want to. So that's just something we have to deal with as far as, you know, the players themselves and how it corresponds because some of you guys are gonna say, yeah, but you're going from DK Metcalf at 6'3 to a player that's six foot. Well, I got news for you. Harold Carmichael can't jump. He has no legs and he's 6'8 in this Madden right here. So the development team, in my opinion, has not done a great job of letting height matter in the game. I don't know what determined that. I don't know why they do it, but you guys all know there is no reason why Harold Carmichael should be as cheap as he is other than the fact that the development team has done a horrific job of making players go up and get the actual ball. So now when you look at DK Metcalf and everybody's like, you know, he is 6'3", you know what's going on with him and stuff like that. Well. He's gonna have 96 speed similar. His 89 medium route run, he doesn't get that tier. He has an 88 deep route run, and his short route run is 92. So you're pretty much looking at a similar player. This guy's a lot stronger, but it's still pretty much the same situation that's going on. He doesn't meet all of the thresholds, but route technician makes him play out of his mind. You know, but it, it costs three. So we can now open up our offense. We can now give other players ability points until they eventually raise uh, the ability points and make our teams better. And that's what we're ultimately looking to do. So this guy might have to get raid sold effective immediately. Now, again, like I told you guys before, as we wait as a 49er theme team to get more players, that is gonna determine what we can then do. Because more, I keep trying to tell you guys this, more than likely, they're not going to give us Randy Moss right now simply because Tyreek Hill has to have a little bit of time. We're probably looking at it like Christmas uh, for a Randy Moss. Like if, if I had to, like my gut feeling because it has to be a time when they can make the most money. And that's gonna be a time when people are spending, you know, next gen will be out. Pretty much the same cards are gonna be transferable on both consoles, but it has to be the same, um, you know, company. So Sony to Sony, which means PS4 to PS5. You can't go cross, you know, cross platform and stuff like that, but your team will be transferred. So they're gonna probably wait to make it more exciting to give us that Randy Moss, that Calvin Johnson and things like that a little bit later on, just to kind of clearly point that out. But for now, we can make our teams a lot better and actually make currency by getting rid of cards and replacing those cards with other players. Because you gotta remember, him getting 96 speed and if he does unlock that route technician, that's gonna save us. Because now we have another spot where we can add another 49er and we can keep building our theme team. Because until they give us a new uh, set of like diamond players where they give us like times three and stuff like that, we have to make do with a lot of the players that we're actively using right now. So everything that we're doing is just about making our team stronger without having to spend and be excessive and you know get a bundle here, bundle. We don't need to do all that. What we need to do is focus on using the players that are getting current upgrades and make our actual team better without having to spend coins. So whatever DK Metcalf is going for at that time, we would just take whatever that is, get rid of this card, and then if he can get those same you know route technician, all that stuff, it's gonna be the same exact thing. Nothing is going to change in that regard. So there is no reason to hold on to the card in like false hopes like, oh my God, DK Metcalf so much better. No, it, it, that's not the case. Plus Brandon Ayuk, he gets a better, um, 
he gets a better like run animation because DK Metcalf runs like he has to take a dump like immediately like he just doesn't care about anything and he has diarrhea and, and that kind of makes him a slower player even though he has the faster speed but we'll figure all that out but that's a guy that we're going to be looking for once the blitz promo actively drops I think that that's going to help us make our teams a lot better and many people are not even looking at that yet I want to thank you guys and girls for watching you guys go ahead and be safe have a happy holiday until next time one love y'all